A lot of folks are simply going without cash. Here's how it works. You have an app on your phone, and that app is connected either to a debit card or to your bank account. You then transfer the money without cash changing hands to a friend of yours who also has the app. You do it via email or text, and for a lot of folks that can now leave home without their wallet. It used to be that cash was king, but in this digital age, when movies, car rides, and vacations are just a tap of the phone away, its reign may be ending. I don't like walking around with cash on me. People don't usually care, carry around a lot of cash nowadays. It's pretty much all digital. Leading the revolution, the popular app Venmo. Cash is the, the common enemy, and I think if you look at the evolution of consumers and their in exchange from cash to credit cards um, to now the digital wallet, we're really in, in fundamentally taking the hassle out of cash for our consumers. Since December, Venmo says about $2 billion a month was transferred through the app. Now trying to cash in big banks, gearing up to launch a rival money-swapping network of their own this year called Zelle. This is Zelle. It's not just a payment system. It's a revolution in the way we move money. Created by a financial tech firm owned by seven major banks, Zelle says they want their network to go mainstream and reach older users. Forget about checks. Who writes checks? For years, customers of banks like Chase, Bank of America, and Wells Fargo have been able to send money to each other, but only with the account and routing numbers. Zelle uses a phone number or an email address. Creators say it also expands the old system to 19 institutions, reaching some 82 million customers. The powerhouse Venmo is saying it welcomes the competition. Oh, anybody who's encouraging um, the, the, the environment and the marketplace to remove the awkwardness out of cash is welcomed. Users of Venmo can even add emojis to payments, making that sometimes awkward task of asking for money a little friendlier. And like Google and Uber, Venmo now even reaches verb status among some millennials. You don't have to feel super bad about like asking, hey, can you pay me back for that thing? Because it's just so like, hey, can you just Venmo me that? And it's like kind of nonchalant. But it's not just cash that's on the way out. Your credit cards, too. Some retailers are now accepting Venmo as payment. And another sign the future may be cardless. Wells Fargo this week upgraded all 13,000 of its ATMs nationwide to process withdrawals without a debit card, all with an app on your smartphone. Simply request a code through the app, enter it at an ATM plus your PIN number, and get your money. A new digital world where your wallet may soon be a thing of the past. There are a lot of players out there. There's also Google Wallet and PayPal and Square and Circle. But is it secure? Well, the app is the app rather is encrypted, and you should be using every verification process possible. Two-step verification if that app offers it, and only be sharing this information with contacts you know are your contacts. Nobody, not somebody masquerading as a contact. And listen, as we know, hackers have hacked the CIA. If you're not comfortable, don't do it. Guys, back to you. Good information, Tom. Thank you very much. You carry a lot of cash? Um, why, who, why do you want to know? No, just, yeah. <laughs> no I do not. No? I do not. But I just learned what Venmo was. Carson, you carry cash? Oh, I love cash, yeah. yeah you <laughs> Big you see Carson's uh, wad of oh, cash? Yeah. yeah, you know what? <laughs> okay. Let's just leave it at that, Enough shall we? That. All right, <laughs> okay. coming. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.